Hey everybody, Wally here, back with a video. Uh, I thought I'd show you some of my uh, latest finds here. Um, I got a bunch of uh, sports photos that I got at an auction. I got a total of about 240 different photos, um, mostly unsigned ones, but there are some signed ones. Um, here's some uh, Packer ones from the Super Bowl. Um, there's some um, different Super Bowl Packer ones with uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, there's some Brett Favre's. Uh, more Brett Favre. Some of them I have like 20 or 30 of the same one. Um, another Brett Favre photo. These are all unsigned here. And then, um, let's see, Clay Matthews. Some other Clay Matthews here, I guess. And then I have um, some different signed ones. Different players from uh, the New York Giants. Let's see if I can get these here so you can see them. Just all kinds of different. There's no real big names in here, but some halfway decent players. Um, I think I got about 60 or 70 signed ones. And there's a couple different. Um, some of them are authenticated by um, PSA DNA. Some are JSA or James Spence. Um, some are Stacks of Plaques. Some are Steiner. Um, so there's all, all kinds of different ones. Um, there's baseball, football, um, basketball. Um, some more football. Here's some stacks of plaques. Those are uh, Jason Gilden from the um, Steelers. So, and um, a couple more Brett Favre's. And there's a uh, Kyle Busch autographed one. Get, get that in there. <laughs> and another New York Giants. Not sure who that is. But um, I paid I think sixty dollars for all of that. And then a few other things I have here is I got a stack of, um, I think it was 30 of them. It's uh, 79 Tops Reggie Jackson cards. That was five bucks. Um, they're, you know, pretty decent shape. None of them are creased or anything. Corners are, are somewhat sharp, but I'll throw them in like little, little bag lots that I do. I'll put like a little a bag like this of miscellaneous cards in my booth for maybe three, three dollars, five dollars of just random like say Yankee cards or baseball or whatever. Then I got uh, a few different razors here. I got a uh, Gillette Super Speed that was at a, a flea market this past weekend. Um, that was a dollar. Um, still has the case and the, the blades inside. Didn't have the instructions but I think the case is a little cracked and everything but it's still a pretty good deal for a dollar. Then I got um, a Gillette adjustable, the slim version. Um, it's a little cruddy, but uh, I paid a quarter for that. So then uh, I got a Blue Tip Super Speed Gillette. Um, I paid a dollar for that. And I got an older, um, this is another Gillette. I don't remember what model this is off the top of my head, but uh, that was a quarter. And then uh, there was another one, a nicer older one, for um, a quarter. And then let's see what else I have here. I've got, oh, I got a buddy who deals in a lot of um, uh, buyouts from um, like old warehouses and that type of thing. And he gets all kinds of paper items. So I got some, uh, some different labels. I got a big stack of these. I think I paid like a nickel, 10 cents a piece for those. But I got like maybe 50 or 75 of those. I got some old um, Coke letterhead, like little menu sheets. Got a lot of those. Um, I put them in a little plastic these are like the comic book backing boards. I put them in that. That's what I sell in my how I sell them in my booth. And I got some proof sheets from um, Political Buttons back in uh, 1976 with uh, Gerald Ford and Bob Dole. And then some more um, um, labels. So I got a lot more variety, but I just don't want to show them all, I guess. And then um, I got about six or eight sets of these. Little racing car sets, or little ten sets. Um, they're still in the original packaging. I think they're from like the late '60s, early '70s. Um, so you see these online. They usually go for about twenty-five dollars a set. I think I paid three dollars a set for like six or eight of them. I can't remember exactly how many I bought, but a few of them. And then um, let's see here. Oh, then I have. I don't know if you guys look for this type of stuff, but this is something you should keep your eye out for if you haven't already. Is um, old family history books. And this is like for genealogy, people that are tracing their, their family history. You know, a lot of these books were were pretty limited edition. You know, I don't know how many copies were made, but a lot of them just probably make the 50 to 100 copies on some of these that are the smaller 
um, you know, smaller families or whatever. But a lot of times you can get uh, 50 to to $100 for some of these books. Um, I usually like to list them on a, a eBay alternative site where I can just list it on there and let it set. You know, one of these sites that doesn't doesn't charge you every time it gets relisted because sometimes they're they're slow sellers, but you can get uh, pretty good money for them. Um, I got this for a quarter. And I'll probably get 50 to to $100 for that. And then uh, there's a couple things that I showed on the, the little uh, video we were doing with, with uh, Brett from Odeon Productions, the uh, tr uh, Trash Talking Treasures. Uh, I showed this. So some people might not have seen this. It's a little bronze sculpture I got at a uh, thrift store one day when uh, all the yard sales were closed because it was raining out. And um, I paid $4.49 for it. Um, for what I see, most of this um, artist sculptures go for around uh, five, $600, but I don't know if I'll ever get that for it. And then here's another piece that I showed before that I still have. Um, it's a football trophy it's from a local athlete called Les Josephson. He played with the uh, Rams from the um, early 60s to the early 70s. This is from uh, 1965 when the Rams played the Bears. It's the uh, top competitor award that was presented to him. I got that at a garage sale for uh, $25. Uh, I don't know what I would sell that for, but I might just hang on to that for a while. And then I have um, oh, a bag of, uh, this was a lot bigger, but I packaged up a bunch to put in my booth, miscellaneous um, uh, bottle caps. Some of the older, like, cork line, they've never been used. Um, you know, some people buy them just to collect them, but a lot of people use them for, uh, a lot of women use them for crafting or making things out of. We got all kinds of different different ones. I package them up for like um, six for like five bucks. Go through a lot of those. Put those in my uh, antique mall booth. And then um, this here. I don't know if anybody can, if you would guess what this is from just uh, looking at it. But it's actually a tube of old. Turn that around so you can see it there. These are milk bottle caps. And it wasn't open, but it's coming apart. The whole tube, there should be 500 of them in there. I think I paid $15 for that. I don't remember what it's from. Silver Springs Dairy. I don't remember where that's located. But, you know, again, a lot of people collect these or um, use them for crafts. So I'll, I'll open this up and repackage them. I usually sell, depending on, you know, the location of the, the dairy. If it's something local, I'll sell them for like 6 for, you know, $5. Um... If it's just a generic one, I usually go six of them for like three bucks. Again, those will sell pretty well for like people that are um, doing crafts and that type of thing. And then I have, let's see, I've got this picture I came across uh, down in Sioux City, Iowa this past weekend at a, a thrift store. Um, it's a silk screen, and it's by um, James Pollock. He's a South Dakota artist. It's a it's signed by him, um, limited edition, number 102 out of 250. Um, looked it up. I haven't found any current sales for it, but I, I know it was uh, first made in 1976. Um, I paid $5 for it. It was actually priced at 10 bucks, but there was a half off anything in that booth that day. So uh, I paid 5 bucks for it. I think I can get anywhere from um, you know 50 to 75 maybe even $100 for this, but it might take a while to sell it. Um, and let's see here. Oh, I have um, a Richard Dent autograph mini helmet. It's got his um, his little um, hologram on there. A lot of players do that when they're autographing things, just to give it a little, you know, a little better authentication. Uh, I paid twenty dollars for that. I could probably get anywhere from seventy, well, fifty, seventy-five to a hundred dollars for that. So um, I think that's about it for now. I don't think I have anything else to show you. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so uh, I guess I'll be making some more videos when I find some more stuff. Um, thanks for watching.